Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. And welcome to the Sunday special. I'm RD. We're live. What is going on? How are you doing? Hope you're having a, I had a great weekend. It's Sunday. Um, you know what we're doing here, right? We're going to relax. Have a, have one, you know, it's been a while since I cracked these out. I got the big, the big, uh, it's not 36 ounces. It's like maybe 32. I think it's about 32. I don't know. We're going to find out, but it's pretty close. So, I got the. I brought out the thirty-two ounce big old mug strikeout beer, um, mug because we're getting close to. Let's be honest, September's like just right around the corner. I'm ready to crack out the steins, the fest beer. I want to have a good time. Let me I gotta fix this real quick. There we go. A little mustache issue there. But anyways, cheers to you. There we are. Let's there, a little dink. There you go. Oh yes, 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 indeedy. So if you're listening to this podcast on Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Deezer, Bullhorn, wherever you listen, and you want to interact with this show live and see the video, we're live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch as this goes down. So in the main show, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Central Time, same place, same destinations. It's just shout out mass there, all right? So anyways... I'm ready for Oktoberfest, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I love fest beers. Now, Marzins and things like that, they start kind of, I'm not saying, they're just a little they a little sweet for me, right? Headhunts in a house, how are we doing? What's going on? They're just a little sweet. And then fest beers are more my style, right? I like, I just that's, that's my jam. That's what I like. I'm sorry, I'm messing with this microphone because I'm trying to get just a little bit more. There we go. That should, that should do the trick right there. So, but yeah, I just... I'm ready. I'm ready for the cool weather too. It's a hundred and like nine. It's a hundred nine today in in Texas, right in, in the DFW area. And of course, I'm out driving around. You know, I took my kid uh, to oh, back to his apartment. He spent the weekend with us. His car's in the shop, so you got to drive him around. He's twenty twenty two years old, twenty one years old. Hey, it'd be twenty two this year. And cars in the shop. I'll tell you what. Amazing week. I had a I had a great weekend. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, right? I had an amazing. Awesome freaking weekend. Cheers. Take a drink. You got that right. Cheers. From head hunting over on Twitch. And so I go to work. I go downtown. Nice little Friday. Not a lot of traffic. Not a lot of people in the office. I'm knocking out work. I'm just like banging there. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Work, work, work. All day. AirPods in. I got I'm listening to the podcast and things like that. And uh I know that my son is going to be at the house by the time I get there. And I'm like, okay, you know, it'd be good to see him. I haven't seen him in a little while. He lives about 30 minutes away. So, you know, and he's an adult. You know, he's working. He's got his own life, his own thing and whatnot. And I think we're going to bring back like the the, the Sunday dinner or something like that, or maybe the Friday dinner. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But so I already know he's there. And as I'm coming home, I come in the house and he goes, hey, dad. He says it real weird and really excited. And I'm like, hey, buddy, I'm glad to see you. I gave him a hug. I was like, I miss you. I love you. You know, how, how you been? Let me put my laptop down, log in so I can finish up my day just for a couple more hours. Take a drink. And then Lizzie's like, hey, I think one of your machines is making a weird sound, my 3D print machine. I'm like, oh, come on, man. It's, uh, it's Friday. I'm supposed to be excited. I'm supposed to be in a good mood. And all it's doing is this is going to put me in a frenzy. Well, I open the door. And my kid jumps out and goes, ah, you know, whatever. It's my younger son that f- he flew in from South Carolina. Uh, my wife flew him in, and he's in there. And I haven't seen him since April. And I thought it was his brother. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. It, I didn't, it didn't even dawn on me that that was him. 
And I'm telling you, my face lit up, and I, man, it was so good to see him. And and it was like, oh my god, I cannot believe you're here. What are you, what are you doing here? And I just, I was lit, I was lit up, smiling ear to ear. You know, had both my kids at the house. They're going to spend the entire weekend with us, just have some fun. And it really did. It got me. And she, she did good. Lizzie knows she did good. And I was just, I was a, uh, just no, like you see me now, just smiling. I was just grinning ear to ear. And I was like, all right. And, but I'll tell you one thing the kids, they sometimes make me nervous about like, uh, cause then I get anxious. Cause now I, I'm like entertaining. I'm like, hey, he's in town. We got to go do something. It's, it's been like this forever. I just get a little anxiety for, to, to think about what we're going to get into, what we're going to do. How am I going to entertain these kids? How, my wife as well and stuff like that. But, you know, we were sitting around and I just happened to mention that I was like, you know what, let's go to, let's go to the casino. <laughs> and so we end up driving up, we hang out for a little bit, the work day, you know, we, it, we caught up on all our chats, um, you know, and, and then I see my kids, they were, they were bickering a little bit a couple months ago, right? I think girls got in the way and, uh, you know, they, they kind of, too much, too many people, right? And then, of course, it's just bickering and stuff like that. And then, whatever happened, so they weren't really even talking. And then, as I'm like kind of closing out the rest of my work day, I'm working. I got to do a couple things around the house as well and work on some prints. And I see them in the backyard, just sitting on the couch, and they're laughing and joking and smiling. And, and it's just like, man, it just it warmed my freaking heart. It really did. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I'm so glad to see it because it's been a while. It's been you know a little bit since they've gotten into it. Well. So then, you know, they were like, well, what are you going to do tonight? You know, blah, blah. I, go, I don't know. You know, I, I kind of thought about maybe going to the casino and, and they both just went bonkers. They were like, absolutely. Let's go. When are we going? And then he nap, nipping at me the, the rest of the night about when we were leaving. I was like, we're going to go. Don't worry about it. And, um, so I ended up rolling out there, left the house by like nine 30. It's like an hour drive. Right. So we head North. Everybody's loaded up in the car. Everybody's, they're just excited and whatnot. Then all of a sudden, you know, the ear, the, the headphones go on, the earbuds go in and they're showing each other videos and talking. And Lizzie and I are just in the front, just kind of, you know, smiling and just driving down, down the road, listening to the radio. And we get to the casino and we're having fun right out of the gate. You know, that Lizzie finds a machine. My, my younger son sits down next to her and we're just kind of hanging out, you know, having some beers and whatnot. And I was like, you know, the craps table's kind of calling my name a little bit. And I was like, but they were all kind of booked. You know, it wasn't packed, though. I will say this. It wasn't packed. I was very, very happy uh, with where I was able to park. And then when you come in, you know, it wasn't like it was it was busy, but not packed. So that I really like that. So we're sitting there. They're playing. They're winning. They're up. They're down. They're left. They're right. And my other, my older son's like, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to play right now. I'll probably play a little bit later. I'm, I'm probably going to play roulette. I was like, OK, that's fine. I was like, I, yeah, fine, too. You know, whatever. And then we play a little bit of roulette. We play a little bit of craps. He sits down and he's like, you know, watching me, trying to pick up what I'm doing. Because I don't play at the table where you're standing up the whole time where you can crowd in like 20 people or whatever. I sit at one of those machines where the the dice is in the middle. Uh, They're big foam dice in a container. And so each person gets a chance to shoot the dice, you know, whatever, roll it. Uh, You make your bets on your own digital screen, whatnot. And that's that's where I like to party. I like to sit right there. And uh, and just enjoy myself. You know, I can be away. I'm not next, right next to people. You know, there's a little space between us. And if they're getting all mouthy or gabby or something like that, I just put my earbuds, my earbuds in, and I just sit there. And I'm in my own freaking world. And but anyway, it it was a lot of fun. Uh, we stayed there for like three hours. You know, and I was giving them, uh, giving both the kids some dough. You know, here you go, go. You know, one of them ran off. The older one ran off. Like I just gave them like money at Chuck E. Cheese or Dave and Buster's or something like that. He was, I'm going to, he went and played roulette. He's, he doesn't even know how to do it. He knows the concept of the game, but the digital board, he gets kind of whatever. So he's like hitting like specials and whatnot. He ends up like doubling the money, come running back, hands me back my 20. He goes, here you go. <laughs> I was like, okay. And he goes, yeah, I made 20 bucks, you know, I'm uh, blah, blah, blah. I go, all right, fine. You know, he does it again. Like later he goes, Hey, you know, you uh, know, got a 20 on you. I was like, yeah, I was like, just use your money. And he's got money, but he, he doesn't, he likes spending my money. He doesn't like spending his own money. They're about to pull this microphone out. Hold on. I just want to get a little bit higher. There we go. Cause it feels like, uh, like all of a sudden it's just not, it's just not, uh, as loud as it was. And now I have a problem because it's driving me. It's going to drive me crazy. If this I've had a, I've been fighting. It is. I have been fighting 
with this machine, and I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything to it, and it automatically lowers itself. I'm sitting here watching it tick down right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we'll keep it somewhat in check where we're not too loud, but we had a blast, uh, to say the least. It was a lot of fun. We had a, we had a lot of fun. We rolled out of there about, I don't know, it was like one, I think about one. Something like that. Got home, got in the bed. It was like, all right, we're getting up early. We're not going to sit there and, uh, you know, sleep in and waste our day away or anything like that. And, you know, and we didn't. We we seriously just, you know, we got up early, went, did some running around. My kid had to get some, uh, um, he had to get some uh, the stuff for, for around his house and things like that. And so I was like, all right, cool, we'll do that. You know, bounce around, go get some lunch, do this, do that. And then... We're like, well, what do we do now? Like, what, what's the plan? What are we doing? And it was like, y'all want to hit the pool? So we get in the pool, and it's like 3 o'clock, maybe 2. <laughs> we stay in there till like 9. <laughs> I, got, I, cooked, I cooked dinner. Uh, we grilled out and whatnot. And uh, holy crap, man. It, they were delicious. The steaks were delicious. So... We had steaks, some sausage, vegetables, broccoli, you know, yada, yada, yada. I had a bunch of crap. And so we were like, all right, well, what are we going to do now? We come inside and it's like, a little beer pong, a little beer pong. And (laughs) that's exactly what we did. We went to beer pong and it got messy kind of quick. It it did, but it was fun. We kept it all in good spirits. Nothing too crazy, too power, too over the top or anything like that. It was very much, um, it was fine. It was fine. So, but yeah, I'm sitting here just watching this thing tick back and forth. I actually ended up in bed at like maybe 9 o'clock. Or I say 9 o'clock. I ended up in bed at like 10 or 11 because younger younger kid had to fly back. He had to catch like a, a 10 o'clock flight, 1040 flight. So he had to get to the airport like, you know, about 840, 9 o'clock. He wakes up. He's a little on, under the weather. Doesn't feel that great. And so he, that was a morning. That was, uh, that was a whole nother whole nother thing to say the least. And so he finally got home. He was glad to be there. I was, I was laying in bed talking to Liz. I was like, Jess, thank you so much. I was like, thank you so much for, for this, because I don't, I, you know, it, it's one of the best, um, uh, uh, best birthday presents. You know, it was my birthday weekend. I don't know if I even mentioned that part, but, um, you know, and it, it's, oh my God, it was so great. It really was. We had a freaking blast. We laughed. You know, lots of hugs, lots of uh, just just bonding and hanging out and just talking. Finish the night off with some rock band, though. Uh, no, not rock band. Was it Guitar Hero on PS4? And my older son just kind of wails on that. I'm like, Jesus, man, you know, that's pretty good. I I, I can't do it myself. Like, I, I can play, like, the casual. That's what I can do, casual. That's where, that's where my jam is. Um, so, anyways... With all that, here we are. Uh, let's talk about next week. Or let's talk about some upcoming uh, events because we actually have uh, the Big Boy Leagues back this year. You're talking uh, Pick'em League. It's $100. We're going to pay out weekly. Uh, I don't know what the number is yet because we have to know how many entrants are in, uh, how many people we have that sign up with it. And so we'll sign that. We'll do that. And then um, you'll, pick, you'll make picks all the way through the Super Bowl. But... The um, the weekly payout stop after the regular season's over. You're not going to get a, a payout weekly payout for the, the the playoff games or anything like that. And then there'll be a certain percentage of the pot that goes to the winner. That the reigning the reigning pot will go to the winner. Uh, we're also doing the fantasy league that is um, the you ha- you own your own team type thing where you know if you're a uh, I'm a Bengals fan so I get the Bengals every Bengal but if they they get traded or whatever get hurt I'm just I have to I can only play Bengals. Allen has Detroit Lions, Lizzie has the 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 New York Giants. Uh, old school, he's got Kansas City. So we're trying to actually fill out all the teams. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're listening to this or you're watching this and you, you just shoot us a message or you can send us an email strike up here at gmail.com if you want in. It's a $10 entry fee. Um, and it'll be dispersed. I think it's actually, no, not dispersed uh, out first three positions. That league, I'm pretty sure we're doing winner take all. So you win it. You get the pot. It's all yours, baby. Um, so that's something we're looking forward to. Now, the the kitty league, as I call it, the $20 uh, Pick'em League, you know, it, I don't know if we're going to do that yet. I got to talk to Alan, and we're going to figure out something, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. 
Um, but yeah, that's really as far as fantasy football goes. That's what we're working on right now for our pickums. We're doing fantasy league. I don't know if we'll do our free one. We we generally host a free fantasy football league for listeners. It's called the Listener League for Strikeout Beer. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, get that going. But yeah, good luck to you. See, I'm I'm talking too much, not getting enough of this in my system. So let's pause a couple seconds so uh, your boy RD can have a little bit of drink. I need to start like hitting a button for like a, a promo or an ad or something like that right there. That's what I think I need to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Um, you know, I, I was going to talk about this because, one, winning time comes on tonight, right? You know, I'm a big fan of that show. Watch it every – I kind of work my weekend around it. Um, it. It's coming on tonight, HBO. I think it comes on at 9 or 10. I cannot remember what time that show comes on. It's so weird. But I think it's 10 o'clock because it is, uh, yeah, put the kids to bed. They're not watching the show type thing, right? Uh, but I went back, and I was like, I need. I want another show to watch that I can put on, not worry about anything as far as, um, you know, like, don't have to worry about if I know something, if I, you know, I'm going to be spoiled or on it or something like that. I fired up Game of Thrones. Lizzie and I are sitting and we've been watching Game of Thrones here for the last week or something like that. So we're done with season one. We're on to season two. Uh, probably be done with season two here in the next couple of days. And I'm, I do want to mow through it because we are getting ready for, I think, the second season of House of the Dragon will be later this year, if not early next year. Hmm. There we go. More beer. More beer. Just keep it. Just keep it. Keep it coming. And uh, so, yeah, I love Game of Thrones. I, I'm i all of a sudden, like, just kind of whipped with some characters that whip me before they whip me every time. But all in all, it's, like, just a stellar show. It really is. But just you know, a couple of people just kind of whip your ass. You end up fast-forwarding a little bit or whatnot. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, listen. Yeah, I guess you just got to take the good with the bad, right? But yeah, that's what I'm watching on television right now. Um, that's And I'm re-watching that. Now, my daily watch is still uh, how, uh, Home Improvement. Home Improvement, Alan told me it was on Disney Plus. I've been watching it on Hulu. And before then, I was catching like reruns on Laugh TV and stuff like that. And I do have uh, a DVD player, or I think I have DVDs of that stuff. But anyway... Uh, it's on Disney Plus, so that means it's ad free, which is amazing. So you can just start, you know, you mowing through seasons. I think I'm on season four or five of that. It was back in the day when there was like 20 episodes a season, right? Like watching TV back then, that was work, and you you better have shown up, otherwise you missed it. You know what I mean? All right, let me just a little sip, just a little something. Uh, now, as far as beer reviews and things like that, um, I don't know if we'll have any rolling out this week. I'm going to try to do one or two here or there. Alan dropped one yesterday, and uh, I've just been it, I've just been busy this weekend to say the least. So usually when I do get these beer reviews in, it, it's it it's when I have downtime to be honest. You know what I mean? So I'll see what I've got in the fridge and if I can knock one out tomorrow or something like that. Our beer reviews are uploaded uh, to YouTube and Facebook, so that's where you can find them. You know, it just just that's the only place we upload them, right? Let's go, buddy in the house. What's up? How we doing? Good to see you. Appreciate you being here. Uh, and so with that being said, since I'm not going to be doing a lot of beer reviews, I'm not going to be around this week for the main show that you see right here above my head, live Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to be, um, we're going to be in Oklahoma, hanging out for a couple days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think. Yeah, so I won't be around. I don't know if Alan's going to bring in somebody else to do the show. I just won't be available. So 
Maybe we'll take the week off. I don't know what he has planned. I actually hadn't even told him yet because I just kind of realized that I won't be around. So that's just a little heads up. I'm going to hit some breweries up while I'm up that way as well. There's some, there's several, there's a German joint that's a, a Kokendorfer. I think that's the name of it. And it's about like 30 miles east, west, 30 miles west of where I'll be. And I've been there once. I was in a terrible mood when I went there. I was being a jerk the entire time. Um, and I want to go back, especially since we're so damn close to September and we're getting that Oktoberfest action in there. Cheers to you. Let's go, buddy. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, like I said, it's going to be one of those things where I just I, – this week I won't be around a lot, right? I'll, I'll be posting clips or, or uh, shorts and things like that. Um, now – Definitely check out our other podcasts that we got going. That is one downside because we usually record the baseball podcast and the fantasy football podcast on Wednesdays. So if we don't get it done on tomorrow, like tomorrow night, then Alan's probably going to release a solo one, whatever. That's fine, you know, as far as uh, that goes. But, you know, I had a lot of fun last week talking about our, our the guys we're going after. You should check that video out. It's available on our YouTube page, SB Fantasy Football Podcast. Easy to find, uh, lots of great little shorts, clips, and um, and full episodes, right? You get the video portion. But if you want the audio, that audio, that podcast is available wherever you listen to your podcast. Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, we're everywhere for that as well. Now for the, the SB Baseball, it also is only, if you want video, it's only available on YouTube. Just a heads up on that. Uh, audio, wherever you enjoy your podcast. You can catch that thing wherever. So, Definitely check both of those out. If you're not sub- subscribing to those already, you should be. Um, good content, fun stuff, light chats, and just us having a good time, right? It's not about beer. We're getting away from um, the beer will be available you know, here on Strikeout Beer or if you're part of our Patreon, patreon.com slash strikeoutbeer. You get bonus episodes, behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, a, a update look of what we're about to have, you know, kind of a sneak peek, sneak peek at a run list, a run sheet, and things like that. So good stuff to check out. But, yeah, I, I definitely want to hit up probably, if I had to guess, I want to hit up about three or four breweries uh, this week. In Oklahoma, I'm already going to be up north. Now, there's a couple that are in Gainesville, uh, Texas, that um, like a little bit south that I'll probably go to as well. just want to have fun. I just want to take some time off of work, um, just get out get out of the house for a little bit. You know what I mean? But after this weekend, I tell you what, there was no place better than home. Like, we went out, we went around. By the time I dropped my son off at the airport today and I took my other son back to his his apartment, I was like, I am exhausted. I was like, I am so freaking tired. So Lizzie and I, uh, we stopped off at like Buffalo Wild Wings, got us a bite to eat, a couple beers, and then we came straight home. Because, like I said, it's 109 degrees outside. It's still over 100 right now. Sun's down. You know what I mean? I just left the sprinklers on outside, let them to run. for like. The, I've had them on for like an hour. And I hope they stay on for like another 30 minutes. I just can't take the heat anymore. It's like killing all the grass and all the plants and everything like that. The trees look like they're freaking dying. It's like, come on, man. Just a just a little stuff. I, but I'm ready for I'm ready for September. You're gonna hear me say I'm ready for September a thousand times between now and September. And then when I say I'm hey, it's September, blah, 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 I'm gonna be talking about Halloween. Just I mean, like right after it. Because I love October. October is so fun for us. Uh, bring on October. Exactly. Bring on October. I, one, love the beers. I actually was at, uh, at Total Wine & More yesterday picking up some stoves and things like that. Um, and I was like, I can't wait. All You know, you got all your pumpkin ales, your pumpkin beers, uh, pumpkin stouts. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a pumpkin latte or a pumpkin spice kind of guy, but I do enjoy a, a nice little pumpkin ale or a pumpkin beer. Gets me ready for Halloween. Gets me ready for... I, for Thanksgiving, this is my time of the year. Uh, you know that if you've watched the show from ext- any extended period of time, you know that's what I love. I love fall time. I love the holiday season. We go kind of all out. You know, we decorate for everything. You know, um, I don't know if Lizzie's going to bring out the tree already, but not the Christmas tree. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. I don't skip holidays. I don't jump. I don't. I don't gloss over Thanksgiving to get to Christmas. I. I our fall tree goes up, and then it becomes a Christmas tree, or a fall tree, and then a, a Halloween tree, 
and then fall for Thanksgiving, and then a Christmas tree. So, yeah, we got another. Let's go, buddy. So it's hot and humid here. Saturday was beautiful. I'll take a summer day like that. Low humidity. I love fall and winter. I'm a big fan of it as well. We got TJ Burns up in this mother. What is going on? He is the biggest fan of Berliner Weisses. If you don't know what that is, it's, slight, it's like a wheat beer. Uh, it's going to be slightly just a little soured. Most likely we'll have fruit, uh, some type of fruit adjunct like kind of put in there or whatever. Uh, you'll see peach, mango, uh, just, you know, not bad, though. But uh, welcome in, sir. He's the host, he, one of the co-hosts for, what's the name of that show, Unpadding? What is that thing? I can't think of it. Uh, TJ, help me out. You can drop it in here. Just uh, put a put a uh, name of your podcast. I can't even remember. Now, he was part of Mostly Football. He was part of Just Be a Dad. Him and Bruce, the Unpadded Podcast. There you go. I knew it was something to do with a pad. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it in my bones. So I am going to bring back, like you see here, the Sunday special. Uh, Mondays probably will start up here again pretty soon. But uh, to be honest with you, the live content for Strikeout Beer and things like that is, it's you know, we're, we're going to keep doing our Wednesday shows. We're going to keep doing We put the D in podcast. Nice. Real nice. Um, it's going to stay the same, you know, our Wednesday nights are our Wednesday nights. It's just this week I'm taking off just because, you know, I, I'll be out of town or whatever, but, um, it just, you know, with fantasy football upon us, this show started as a fantasy football podcast, craft beer and fantasy football. And, you know, that's why SB, uh, fantasy football podcast is created now because we were just like, you know what? It's getting just so diluted. Like in don't want people kind of signing up for strikeout beer, for beer content and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we hit them with a ton of sports. I don't know. And so we're trying something new this year. And so the YouTube page seems to be doing pretty well. You know, even like some of our weird videos, you know, it's got some, got some hits. It's like, man, a defense, a defense video about us talking about our ranking our 10 defenses. Like, it didn't go astronomical, but it's a hell of a lot higher than a lot of our other videos. I was like, holy moly, really? Did you try that beer I gave you yet? Nope, I haven't tried it yet. I think I gave Alan one. I think we might do it tomorrow night. I'm going to talk to Alan and see if he can't do it tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I will. I will try to have it tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk to Alan and make sure, and if he gets home, it, like, it all depends on, like, his softball schedule and things like that. So if his kid gets done, you know, he's keeping, like, an 8-year-old out till 10 o'clock at night for pitching. You know, everybody's going to the pros. You know, got to do it, you know. Um, back when we were kids, like if we were like under 10, we were in bed by nine. I mean, it was, and that was, you know, that's just me. You know, I'm not going to question anybody's parenting. He can, he can do it, what he wants with his kids, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, no, he, uh, he, he's got his kid in softball and then she has pitching lessons afterwards, things like that. So that's kind of how, and why, um, uh, the Monday night show has kind of been put on pause, but I'll tell you this, but me and him, when we talk about it, I'm like, I'm not even pressing the subject. And he knows, too. He goes, man, those Tuesdays were so freaking rough because we would just stay up all freaking night Monday. I mean, you're talking about staying up till 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock, just sitting there drinking. I mean, we do like three or four shows, recordings and things. like to do a live show and then like two or three recordings. And then we're sitting there just still drinking. Like, you're just sitting there talking. <laughs> but luckily, uh, I think most of the time Liz will come get him or, or say something like that. Uh, and so that saves us. So he's got, he'll, he'll go outside and, and things like that. Sucker punch is good. Yeah. Yeah. Sucker punch from three nations out of Carrollton, Texas. Uh, if you haven't been there yet, you should, you should definitely check it out. Um, you know, their brewery is amazing. I remember when they were in farmer's branch, they moved to Carrollton a handful of years ago. Uh, if you've, we were there for a live stream on a Wednesday, delicious beer, great variety of beer, I would say as well, and really good, um, they got good food, they got the Three Nations Bar and Grill, or it's not Bar and Grill, it's the Three Nations Grill, good stuff, and just bar food, you know, you got dogs and, uh, and, and burgers and fries, cheese fries, shit like that, and it's good, it really is good, y'all need to bring back the late, late shows, uh, late shows actually still occur, it's on patreon.com slash strikeout beer, that's where you get the late show, and uh, things like that, yep, we just decided we didn't want to publish it and have it out there, buddy, to be honest with you. I remember there were so many nights where I'm just sitting there. I'm like, dude, what are we live for? Like, we're going to like get in trouble with something. <laughs> I think I need to take a bigger gulp. Give me, give me 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to chug this thing. Um, but, yeah, I just... 
I, I can't do the late show anymore. Even though, like, I don't know myself, we seriously just go, we go out back. We do the Chug video and after the late show, the recording for the late show. And then, like I said, we post it on Patreon, patreon.com slash strikeout beer. And then we sit outside. We sat outside till damn near 2 o'clock this past Wednesday. Yep. We were out there listening to, we, we put on the MLB uh, app, like big inning, and then when the big inning's over, I think about 10 or 10.30 it'll be over. Then we just watch whatever West Coast game is on. It's usually the Dodgers or Padres or something like that, and which is fine. And then when that's over, we put on YouTube or some music and just chill, man. We're hanging out by the pool, or hell, he's in the pool. Got our cigars lit. We're sitting there having some beers, you know, just enjoying ourselves and things like that. And, and it is a lot of fun. So, um, but yeah, as far as sitting in this room till two a.m., just getting sloshed, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Even though it was a lot of fun, TJ, it was. We had a lot of fun, uh, the good old days, as they say. But yeah, they're over now, right? <laughs> it is what it is. I think just splashed in my eye. So, like I said, I uh, won't be around this week as much. I'll try to do some peer reviews, post some videos, some content, and things like that. But I think a lot of it's going to be on uh, baseball or fantasy football. Uh, I'm hoping that, like I said, Alan's going to join us or join me tomorrow for a Monday, uh, either a live stream or we record whichever happens. And that way we can have a show this week for you guys. Because I'll be honest, it, the baseball shows are so much fun to talk about. This past week we were talking about is it time for to bring back or bring in like robo umpires or just give coaches challenges. You know what I mean? More challenges for balls and strikes. And, uh, you know, of course, we're split on that. Go check out the go check out the video or the audio. Uh, it's good stuff. SB Baseball Podcast. And then, um, like I said, the um, SB Fantasy Football was our guys, our my guys for this year. Five guys. Um, you had a quarterback, running back, two receivers, and uh, a tight end, if I'm not mistaken. So, Check those out. Oh, we got the floppers coming in. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that whiskey. And then uh, they got the hashtag for Lizzie. Absolutely. Lizzie's doing good. Rangers playoffs equals Rangers in seven, baby. <laughs> I talked about, I, I did my Ranger Roundup recording today, and it drops tomorrow morning at 630, uh, 6.30 a.m. So if you if you listen to that podcast, it's called the Texas Rangers Roundup. Uh, it, it's going to be out, and it's I'm not dogging on the Rangers this week or anything like that, but I am concerned about the playoffs. The tight ends are underrated in the NFL. I mean, not really, I don't think. I don't think so. I think Kelsey gets all the praise he deserves, and he deserves it all because he's the best, you know? Um, but, yeah, I just – with the Rangers, like I said, I, I talk about this weekend, and then I, I give a little forecast for this upcoming week to hit the road – Check it out. It's a it's a nice quick like ten to fifteen minute podcast every single Monday. I have done a couple uh, mid midweeks uh, shows where I recap the first three days and then I I talk about the upcoming games and you know a little bit of detail about starting pitching and things like that. But it's it's not bad. It's fun. It really is fun. I really enjoy it. Now it's Sunday when I got to record it and I'm always kind of nervous when I sit down. But today I just I'll be honest with you. I felt like I crushed it. Felt like I crushed it. And if this is doing this. The chances are it probably sounds like shit. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go watch Winning Time. Texas forecast: hot, uh, stays indoors, drink water, don't melt. There you go. That's that, that's the forecast for North Texas. I'm out of here. Hey, love to thank. Hey, thank you so much for popping in with me. Usually I'll go for about an hour on Sunday, but I just got other things to do. To be honest with you, I got I got shit to do, and I love y'all. Uh, appreciate you being here, but, uh, that's going to do it for me. And again, appreciate love, all the love, all the support unis. Okay. Some more floppers coming in from whiskey. Hey, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time. Hey, be good. We'll see you. Adios. Thank you for listening to strikeout beer. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. 
The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.